Hello everyone, and welcome to Minecraft Week Lock, episode 8, 8 episodes, that's 8 weeks, that's uh, 2 months, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so, I want to tell you my plans about this area over here. We've done the whole deforestation. The news that I want to tell you. I've been thinking a lot uh, about what we're gonna do here. You see, I wanted to make this area flat because I was originally uh, thinking about building a modern city. But modern city would require tons of concrete and I don't feel like grinding you know all the gravel and sand we're gonna do a little bit uh, something a little bit different and that is going to be a uh, fantasy fantasy world yeah we are gonna turn this uh, land over here this land mass everything every block in this uh, area and we're gonna change it and we're gonna build our fantasy land and what do I mean fantasy land? Uh, the idea is <clears throat> if any of you if you are a MMORPG fan uh, by the way MMORPGs uh, I, I have uh, two in my mind that's uh, World of Warcraft and Aeon which I've been playing and yeah I am thinking we turn these we're gonna make our custom biomes, if you will. So, I think it's gonna be great. I promised myself that I would not cry on the internet. <sighs> I died. And I lost all my stuff. Just give me a second. We are back. And I wanna show you what we have. So, I've got the sneaky helm. I think that the, this is the best that it can be. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Then we've got the Elytra from before. I just uh, renamed it uh, Wing Suite 1.0. Then we have Sneaky Pants with just protection for Unbreaking 3. We're missing uh, Mending, so we'll need to get that. Then we have Sneakers, which I think uh, these are also. Uh, you know, uh, finished product. Um, oh no, soul speed can be free. I think you can combine, so we need uh, another soul speed too. But yeah, other than that, I think we are done. And then tools, we have uh, Silky Way 3 from before, Super Spoon, uh, Super Spoon 1 from before, and now Silky Axe, uh, Sneaky Axe, and then not Legolas. Uh, maybe you know. I had a bow called Legolas and it was the single best thing ever in Minecraft, uh, yeah, to me. It was the best bow you can get, but now I have uh, just these three, I guess it's cool. It, I need bow, I don't use uh, sword as you can see, this is uh, this is from here, this is no looting less pearls. I also wanted to mention, we've got these two iron, uh, not iron, netherite ingots. <laughs> And these are actually for Hello Summer. She didn't want to use them uh, because she's afraid of losing the netherite stuff, like uh, like I just did. Uh, but I had an amazing idea. I need to go to the Nether for Blackstone right now because uh, we need Blackstone for our new fantasy base and. We could also mine some more netherite while we are in there, because yeah, I'm wearing all the diamond, all the diamond uh, stuff. So uh, I actually want to grab a fire protection, uh, you know, set if if possible, <laughs> and uh, 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 fire protection. Hell yeah! fire protection hell yeah and maybe some pantalones over here no uh, no 
no. Or maybe we could go with golden. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I want to have. Oh, hello there, Skilly. Why am I so easy to distract? Uh, what I want to say. Uh, I want to have as much fire protection as I can possibly wear. I have a plan. Uh, let's grab this XP. <laughs> Why not? Jeez, I am so easy to distract. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will head to the Nether, and I will screenshot every time I have uh, this uh, Netherite stuff. Uh, I think the uh, what is it called? An ancient debris. I'll see you once I'm done with that. Okay, and after a long grind in the nether, we are back here in the base and you see I've done some progress here as well. We have very basic wheat farm for these guys, which I've been breeding slowly but surely. Look how depressing they look. Oh, come here. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I didn't show you, but I almost forgot that. Uh, so here's the blackstone. I've been collecting quite a lot of it, almost four, four full shulker boxes. Uh, and most importantly, we've got 50 ancient debris. And here, in this shulker box, you see I've been also mining a bunch of obsidian. And yeah, basically, basically we need uh, tons of uh, black blocks. And we're gonna transform this area to uh, you see it here, Ooh, here, like desert biome. Well, this looks uncomfortable to sleep in. Okay, guys, so. I just want to show you uh, what I have in mind for this area. I know it uh, probably wasn't clear, clear from uh, the start of the episode, so I'm gonna try uh, again. So uh, I call it the Black Desert Biome, and essentially what I mean is uh, we're gonna use all different kinds of uh, black blocks, and uh, basically I'm talking about this uh, bright green. Uh, which was originally forest area. This is a bright green which goes all the way back there.
and we're back. Did you enjoy the time lapse? Let me know in the comment section. And I want to show you. So we've got the black tower, and yeah, it's not hundred hundred percent the same as in the creative world where I made the first uh, blueprint, kind of. But yeah, I like it so far. Uh, not bad. Over here is uh, where we're gonna make the entrance to the end portal, and yeah, I uh, lit it lit it up a little bit <laughs> with those soul lanterns. Lanterns, yes, lanterns. Yes, and we've got this. Uh, so yeah, as I said, black desert biome. It takes a little bit of time to get used to seeing this wool on the floor, but uh, when you give it a chance, it's not that bad. What's terrible is breaking it when you when you misplace it. Yeah, that's easier with concrete and concrete powder and everything. But yeah, so I've been using it uh, instead of concrete powder, essentially because we don't have a black dye farm. And I kind of like it. Let me know if you like this uh, kind of spiky biome. Here is the path going like this and this. You, here you see it because it's super flat and here we're gonna add more spikes. But at the time I finished the time lapse, I didn't have these black stones. Uh, and actually we can look in this uh, chat and see, oh shiny, this truck piglin with gold. Yes, oh shiny indeed. I have been. Uh, I've been busy, so I've got uh, all this blackstone from the from an obsidian from the piglin bartering, and also this crying obsidian. And guys, look at this block. I mean, oh my god, this is the most. Uh, oops, not 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 here. This is the most magical block in Minecraft in my opinion and it really really suits this other portal let me show you yeah so here we are uh, below the nether portal i'm thinking maybe one here oh yeah 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 uh, maybe over there not knock out the, the wool like this and here also so this is the magic portal, right? And here you can see the magic flow in the ground and maybe maybe in even in the walls. Maybe like this. One block back. Oh yes. I really like it. Uh, I need more. I need more of this. Oh yeah. And would you look at this? I really love it. Also, I used uh, the regular obsidian as a, uh, you know, building decorative block. Uh, here and there. Uh, and as we go further from the portal, there's no more obsidian here. For the next episode, I'm gonna work a little bit on detailing, but I also want to spread this biome a little bit more. Yeah, spread it a little bit more. I love this block, oh my goodness. So yeah, we need to go to the nether, mine some blackstone and... Actually, uh, I don't know if this is gonna be in this episode or in the future, but here I added more uh, more tasks on the to-do list. So we've got Black Desert Biome. This is pretty long term. Then we've got Ground Wool Farm because yeah, this is pretty good, pretty good. It's it's shearing them up and picking. Is it picking? Is it picking them up? Confused. Oh no, what happened here? That's good thing that I saw this. So now it's working. <laughs> or is it? Oh yeah, it's... Oh yeah, look at this. We've got one chest almost full of, uh, you know, black wool. Single chest, so yeah. So yeah, this is... Uh, the wool is pouring here, but... Uh, we need to make a grand wool farm because we this hey um well I want to fly 
this, what you see, is just the first uh, fantasy biome that we're gonna make. And in the future, we're gonna need a whole different uh, spectrum of those wool blocks. All different kinds of colors. So, we're gonna make an epic, uh, very large and very productive uh, sheep farm. Sheep shearing farm. What I wanted to say over here. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be in this or not in this episode, but I want to work on the end portal entrance. Basically, I want to build like a hall uh, that's gonna be the entrance. You jump down into the water, and then you know some epic pillars and everything. It's it's gonna be awesome. I really hope it's gonna be awesome. And also, I've I had yesterday a great idea build water creatures so let me sleep up real quick and I'm gonna show you I have been yeah I have been thinking about location wise and I wanna make like a giant giant uh, creatures Ooh, hoo, hoo. can I land here oh yes like this giant creatures that will be standing yes standing not swimming in here and if you look here it's <laughs> it's pretty deep so when i say giant i really mean giant creatures so i want to uh, uh, think about it and think of some designs in the creative world but yeah they're gonna be like huge 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 and I want to make few of them, not just one. Oh my goodness, this block! Oh, oh. am I weird? I guess I am. Okay, so I'm down here by the end portal, and I just dug uh, a hole. Wait, here, a hole going. You can see the tower up there. So yeah, we need to basically make. A bigger entrance over here and we're gonna build some epic wall but that I'll show you I think in the next episode so right now hey so right now I think that will be it for today and I'll see you in a week <laughs>